You see, for those who belong to Jesus, that event in the upper room began a new remembrance of redemption that the Lord will honor when he returns. The fruit of the vine was a common Jewish colloquialism for wine, which Jesus told his disciples he would not drink with them again until that day when he would drink with them in his father's kingdom. Amen. He instructed them to remember him in the eating of the bread, which represented his sacrificial body, and to drink from the cup, which represents his shed blood as a sacrifice for sin. Do this, he said, as often as you drink it in remembrance of God. In other words, the Lord's Supper not only is a reminder of our Lord's sacrifice for our sins, but also a reminder of his promise to return and share his kingdom blessings with all of us. The book of Hebrews explains that there is no point in returning to the sacrificial system of the Old Covenant because Christ is a mediator of a new covenant. It was put into action upon Jesus' death. So, how do we show God that we accept his covenant? You see, back in the Old Testament in modern days, after two people sealed an agreement or a contract, they would sit down and share a meal. There was just something about eating together. It binds people. So when we take the bread and the cup at the Lord's table, we are showing that we accept the terms of the new covenant. You know, one Sunday at my home church, Bethel in Mobile, Alabama, when the children came down from children's church, because all the children took the meal together, and they kneeled at the altar, I noticed one little boy who did not partake. So I moved over to him and I said, what's wrong? You're not taking communion. And he told me that he had done something earlier in the week. And his grandmother said, you can participate and walk in the line with the children. You can kneel at the altar, but you better not take communion. And he told me, he said, she said that I was not worried. And I was flabbergasted and I just said, Jesus, if that is the case, we can close the top down on the baby grand piano. We can put the sacraments <laughs> in the cabinet. We can turn the lights, close the church doors, and throw away the key. Mm. Because truly, none of us are worthy. That's true. Amen. But we become worthy when we kneel at the altar. We say our prayers. We ask God for forgiveness of our sins. And that makes us all worthy. The Bible tells us to. When we kneel, we ask for it. We're able to do that because of what Jesus did at the cross. So if there is something we need to confess to God to clean up our lives, thanks be to God. And when we go to Jesus with remorse and repentance, we find forgiveness, uh -huh. restoration, uh -huh. and an invitation to come to the table. Amen. That's Amen. exactly why as AME, African Methodist Episcopalians, we recite the general confession. Some of us have become so accustomed to do it, we just we do it just because we are accustomed to do it. We're not even thinking about what we're saying. Listen to the words. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all people, we acknowledge and beware our manifold sins and wickedness by thought, word, and deed against your divine majesty, provoking most justly your wrath and indignation against us. Beloved, the word beware of me. We are expressing sorrow for our sins, the things we've done. Our manifold sins, the many different kinds of sins we have committed by thought, word, or deed. So don't just recite it out of habit. If we trust Christ, then we are all eligible to participate. When we participate, we accept the terms of the new covenant. We're sinners. We're guilty. Yes. We deserve punishment. But Christ became our substitute. Amen. He took our punishment. His blood covers all of our sin. Uh -huh. We're forgiven based on his sacrifice. Uh -huh. And finally, my Christian sisters and brothers, when you come to the table, you come to the presence of Christ. You remember that he died for you. You participate in the benefits of his 
today. Yes. You receive spiritual nourishment, and you're united with other believers who also participate in the supper. We renew our commitment as God's redeemed people. When God looks at us, he no longer sees all of our sins, for they've been covered by the blood of Christ. Our patron is sealed. We arise and we go in peace with a renewed spirit to love and live in charity with our neighbors. You see, we're guaranteed eternal life. We are now children of a new and everlasting cup. Amen. Go, rise, and go in peace. And let the God of peace go with you. Amen. Amen. We would like to close our service without extending an invitation to those who may be out of the ark of safety. You can become part of God's family and participate in the Lord's Supper, renewing your covenant with God. You can visit our webpage, call our helpline. Our senior pastor, Reverend James Speedy, will be glad to meet and talk with you. We'd love to have you. Listen to our radio station, WQ 1899.5 FM. We have gospel music being played there and interviews from community persons. We thank you for joining us today. Continue to be safe and take care of one another. Join us again next week. Until then, may the Lord bless you. Real good. Amen. Amen.